Hi, this is Samuel Peary with Getting Finances Done and 12 Weeks to Fiscal Fitness. And this screencast, I'm going to show you how to set up accounts in You Need a Budget. It's a pretty simple process, but there are a couple little teeny things that are key to know. One of those things is that when you f start out, you want to start from scratch. Don't try and import any data into You Need a Budget. Uh, the software creator doesn't recommend doing that, and neither do I. You want a fresh start. And so let's go ahead and add an account. Now it treats different accounts differently. So a checking account, let's start with a basic checking account. Let's say we have $1,200 in there. We're going to say the date of the known balance. And when, when you create the account name, I'm, I'm just going to leave it generic for now, but I usually like to put the name of my bank. If it's used for something specific, you know, I could put that in there. Um, and then make sure the account type is checking and create the account. Now it's going to give you the notice, and basically all this says is that your initial balance is going to be categorized as income available this month. And I'll explain why that's important. So here we go, $1,200, income available this month, it's our starting balance. And let's go see what's, how that affects the budget. Um, because it was categorized as income available this month, it's going to show up available to budget in your March budget. Gonna wait for that to load. And here you go with your March budget. And it's income available this month, it's available to budget. So that's what that little categorization means. Now let's add a second account that's a savings account. And it actually treats savings accounts uh, just like it does checking accounts. So let's say we have $3,000 in here. And we're gonna select savings account. It's going to give me that same notice saying that that's going to be automatically categorized as money available this month. And this is the way we want it. I'll tell you why in a second. Now if you decided you didn't want it available this month, you could actually select on that and delete it. So I'm going to hi highlight that and then just click delete and I could update it. In this case I'm going to leave it that way so I'm going to cancel that. And when we go back to our budget sheet, we're going to see that now $4,200 is available to budget, which is the combination of $3,000 and $1,200. Now let's add an account that we don't want to be in our budget. So this might be an investment account. And this makes sense that we wouldn't want this in our budget because you're not going to budget invest money from month to month. Put $20,000 there and let's say this retirement savings and we're going to mark it as an investment account. Now you need a budget. Oh, well here's a little notice. Now what this notice says is that it's not categorizing it as income available this month. If we wanted to put it in our budget, we'd have to go and do that. But by default, it just puts no category there. You need a budget will track investment accounts. It doesn't track investments, so you can't put a stock price and update that. That's not what you need a budget is for, and that's actually a good thing for us because that means that you need a budget is focused on budgeting. It's not focused on managing your investments. You can use another tool to do that. Um, but we can put the account here, and the reason for that is let's say every month we have a, a an automatic withdraw from our checking account into our investment account. Well, you could track that there and, and, and you know keep track of those withdrawals if you wanted to do that. So it might be helpful for you to have an investment account listed. Let's do one last account type. We're going to do a credit card account. And let's say we have $750 balance. And we're going to select a credit card account. Now, by selecting a credit card account, it's going to do two things. One is that that money is not going to be made available this month. It's not going to be categorized. See, no category. And the second is that the initial balance is actually an outflow. So it's going to be negative. And when you look over your account list, you see negative $750. Again, that's not going to be reflected in the budget. Um, but I'll show you how to deal with credit cards uh, in a later screencast. And we still have in our budget the $4,200 ready to allocate. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a subsequent podcast, or a screencast rather, but that's how you set up your account. So go ahead now and set up all of your accounts in You Need a Budget. And that's it for now. Uh, until next time, this is Samuel Peer with Getting Finances Done. We'll talk to you soon.